Welcome back everyone to the hello world guys this is another episode of the better C++ Mario series and in this video we are going to implement the map drawing functionality but first there are a bunch of stuff that I have added to the camera.h4 class not a bunch of stuff really just a single thing we have added a vector 2f here called position because the camera should obviously be allowed to have a position and even if we do that for the view we just pass in the uh, position here whenever we are doing that we return sf colon colon view with the actual position and uh, that works quite nicely it in fact it uh, works uh, pretty well so we could have got a position here and uh, we return in as a follow column view with that position and it allows our camera to be positioned anywhere in the world now previously we were defining the camera here but we may want to use the camera inside the game to overcome that problem uh, and share it we define the camera as an external variable but this extern keyword does is that it tells the compiler that this is uh, just this uh, let the program file use this camera uh, you know uh, variable uh, but it is uh, not actually defined or created here this variable is defined in some other file and, uh, and that works if you want to not do that it would be defined in every file that includes it and lead to a bunch of conflicts so what we'll have to do is we'll have to give it an extern uh, you know thing here and what that will do is it will allow us to use this in multiple files and only define it in one and the one we define it in is cam game.cpp and we do need to define it in a global variable of course and I set the zoom level by default to 320. So in the begin method I can call map.create checkerboard with 11 and 11 as the parameters and uh, yeah just like that and in camera.position what we do is we create an sf column column vector 2f and we basically say 160 and 160 here. Uh, that's just in any position you can of course choose whatever position you like I just chose this position because uh, of no particular reason really so you can of course uh, kind of make it whatever you like for example you can make it uh, 210 so yeah that uh, that's pretty awesome I'll leave it at 160 for now and uh, uh, yeah that's that allows us to change the position of the camera and we of course create the checkerboard of an 11 by 11 size and uh, uh, in the render method we just call map.draw and the draw function takes a renderer as you can see here and uh, we also have a float called cell size as a member variable and uh, we create a constructor that takes that cell size and initializes it default just like that and now let's go under the actual draw method so for this what we do is first of all we create a variable top level called x and set that to zero now we go over each column in the grid and for each column uh, we first go ahead and uh, create a, a variable called y since we are going from top to bottom and then we create uh, for each cell in the column uh, we, if that cell is uh, like true which means it has got a value other than zero zero means uh, it's empty and if it's uh, any other value we need to draw some kind of texture for now we'll just draw, uh, draw brick.png using render.draw here and uh, for the position we will say cell size multiplied by x because of uh, we want to offset it by that amount but we add cell size by two to this and the only reason we add that value is because uh, uh, we want it uh, to be you know at the center so we have to kind of do that and after that what we do is we go ahead and increment the y and once we are drawing each done drawing a column we increment the x and when we are drawing the next column of course we have got y again zero so that should draw the method quite uh, draw the uh, thing to the screen quite efficiently and uh, remember we do the create checkerboard here however there is a problem which we will discuss in just a second uh, by the way let me initialize this to zero instead of one so let's go ahead and run this and uh, what you should see is that we do indeed get a checkerboard like pattern onto the screen and uh, yeah that's pretty much it so let's see uh, just like uh, that you can see we do get a checkerboard pattern of bricks on the screen however if I were to change the size of this to an even amount say 10 by 10 then you would see a couple of problems start to arise which is that we get uh, don't get exactly what we want uh, let me just show you so you can see that uh, you can see that we in instead of that we get these rows the reason for that is b because uh, first of all there is a bit of a problem with the way we are drawing this so 
uh, not actually with the way we are drawing this uh, let me go here so let's first of all what we need to do to fix that problem is that uh, if the uh, width or the height we get is even what we'll have to do is we'll have to set this to not last after each of that so if our width is even for example let's say if our width is even and of course to check for even what you can do is you can of course say width and we can use the modulus operator to get the remainder of uh, when it's divided by 2 and if that is equal to 0 then what we will do is we will set last to not last the only reason we do that is because uh, well quite obviously we want it to be inverted in on that in that case it gives a warning that it should uh, use we should uh, that uh, we probably uh, did a mistake here but that's actually not the case so let's just ignore that warning and run this and see if it works so as you can see uh, you should be able to see that uh, yes now we get a checkerboard pattern even if we have got a wrong amount of thing here so you can see that that works now and we get a checkerboard pattern regardless of whatever we do and of course uh, this is not quite uh, a map yet it's just a bunch of bricks in a checkerboard but uh, in the future videos we'll try to implement a basic map editor that will allow us to kind of draw maps out and of course you can use like hard coded arrays for that if you want to you can like just create a bunch of levels and uh, mm -hmm. Uh, hardcore the arrays but that's not really a very fun way to do that so a much better way to do that in my opinion would be to if we were to for example instead of just doing uh, like a plain thing here uh, create a another application which would be a uh, like editor and we'll be able to draw stuff in that one uh, in that way much more efficiently so we'll do uh, those things in the future videos make sure to like and subscribe and stay tuned for that uh, I'll see you in the next one and, uh, may, uh, and make sure to share this video with other people as well and bye